Okay, guys. Uh, tonight we're going to have a really quick one. Um, this is a situation that came up in the office today, and uh, I wanted to go ahead and document it and address it for some other guys out there before it uh, became a, a widespread epidemic, right? <coughs> the issue is a developer came up to me and... Um, he had some concerns about the uh, the speed of one of the table loads in his ETL. And what he was doing was he was doing a uh, select into with several million rows, and then he was having to uh, um, and then he was having to do an alter table and add an identity column to it afterwards because the the original one didn't have an ID column, and that alter table was just killing him. Well, of course the alter table's killing you, right? I mean, that's just a massive update. So, after I gave him this little trick, he, you know, fell in love with me, and, you know, it's, you know, it's all a different story from there. I think he wants to have my children now. Um, anyway, so I'm going to give you this technique, and I hope that you guys can use it as well. It's just uh, really simple. We're going to, what, what I've got here is I've got my BCP long table that I've just created from the others, and if we do a select count... BCP long. There we go. So I got 213,000 records in there, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a select into, except I'm going to use the identity function to um, insert in there. Now this this table only has one column in it, okay? Because you know I didn't want to tax anything. This is more for the process than anything. Um, so I'm going to select. And I'm going to do this in all caps, just to be nice. Identity. You set the... Wait a minute. Identity. Stop that. You set the data type. And then you set the seed and increment values. And you say as... Oh, we'll just call it ID. Okay? So far, so good. So you can see, I'm creating a column. <coughs> and, uh... I'm using the identity insert to populate that column on the fly in my select into statement. So now all I got to do is add the rest of it. So from here I'm going to say I'm going to say comma star. That's the way I'm just going to get the rest of the columns. Um, obviously you can you can pick and choose the columns you want and still have an identity. But from here, you know, even if I had 20 columns, I'm saying that I want a new table with all of the same data in it. I just want to add an ID column. And also the and also the problem that you're going to get with uh, um, with doing the alter is the ID is going to be at the back of the table, so it's going to be the last column in the table. A lot of people don't like to see that. A lot of people like to see the uh, the identity column first. So this is a way that you can put it anywhere you wanted, right? I mean, you could put it in the middle if you wanted to. So anyway, and let's not call it BCP. Oh yeah, okay. And then we'll say into BCP long ID, right? We'll just call it long ID. And I don't know what you're complaining about. Oh, I know. That should get it. Well, fine. Huh. I don't know why it's complaining about that. So here we go. Bam. It was that fast. Now, if I right-click and say refresh, see my, B my BCP long ID, I see my columns, and I see my int column right there. So if I say uh, select top 20 star from BCP long ID, and there we go we have a, uh, a table with a column in it. I mean, with, uh, with an ID column in it. And there you go. That's all I have this time. Good luck. Okay. It dawns on me here. Sorry to, to come back on you, but uh, I wanted to show you this one thing here real quick. It dawns on me real quick that... Uh, um, uh, you notice how I, I started a seed value of, of 1 and incremented by 1 and I get, you know, something like this, right? 18,000 or 184,000, 801 and 802 and all that, right? Well, um, you know, I still have my one. Chances are, if I uh, 
order by ID. Stop that. Ascending. There we go. So you see, it was just an order problem. So I didn't want uh, didn't want you guys to be watching the video and go, hey, wait a minute, he started at one. There you go, I started at one. 